everyone welcome back my topic for today's diet in hypertension we have already studied about hypertension in detail in our previous video so let us see what diet has to be followed in hypertension so first let us know what blood pressure is blood pressure is the force of the blood pushing against the walls of the arteries as the heart pumps out the blood so when the heart is pumping out the blood if the pressure by which the blood is flowing in the arteries is high then it is called as high blood pressure or hypertension so blood pressure includes systolic and diastolic pressure systolic refers to the blood pressure when the heart beats while pumping the blood and diastolic refers to the blood pressure when the heart is at rest that is in between the heart beats now finally going to the diet in hypertension diet plays a very important role in both prevention as well as in treatment of high blood pressure so now control blood pressure with the dash diet let us know a little about the dash diet here the dash stands for dietary approaches to stop hypertension it is basically a flexible and a balanced eating plan it is a dietary pattern which is promoted by usa based National Heart, Lungs and Blood Institute to prevent and control hypertension by the study which is carried out in 1997. The key goal of the DASH diet is reducing how much sodium you eat. Since sodium can dramatically increase the blood pressure in people who are sensitive to its effect, in addition to the standard DASH diet, there is also a lower sodium version of the diet. In standard DASH diet, a person can consume up to 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. In lower sodium DASH diet, a person can consume up to 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. Here, one teaspoon of table salt will have about 2,300 milligrams of sodium, and two third teaspoon of table salt will have about 1,500 milligrams of sodium. person who is severely hypertensive should intake only 2 grams of sodium that is no extra salt should be added in the food because the food already contains the natural sodium in it in mild cases 4 gram of sodium can be taken that is a pinch of salt can be added to the food items and in a person who is pre hypertensive that is when the hypertension is in the borderline then 8 grams of sodium can be given means less than a teaspoon can be added to the food items dash diet is based on eating plan which is rich in fruits vegetables low fat or non fat dairy with whole grains it is high fiber low to moderate fat diet rich in potassium calcium magnesium dash diet emphasizes portion size of eating but eating a variety of foods and getting the right amount of nutrients dash diet includes grains and grain products that is 7 to 8 servings daily fruits and vegetables that is 4 to 5 servings of each daily low fat or non fat dairy foods that is 2 to 3 servings daily meat poultry fish two or fever that is 85 grams servings daily nuts and seeds or legumes that is 4 to 5 servings per week fats that is 2 to 3 servings daily avoid saturated fat sweets no more than 6 per week first is grains so grains include bread cereal rice and pasta example of one serving grains include one slice whole wheat bread half cup cooked cereal half cup rice and half cup pasta it should be brown rice and it should be whole wheat pasta so first focus on whole grains because they have more fiber and nutrients than the refined grains for instance use brown rice instead of white rice use whole wheat pasta instead of regular pasta and whole wheat bread than the white bread so look for products that are 100% whole grain or 100% whole wheat grains are naturally low in fat so avoid spreading of butter or adding creams and cheese sauces on it next is vegetables this include tomatoes carrots broccoli sweet potatoes green and other vegetables all these are full of fibers vitamins and minerals such as potassium and magnesium example of one cup serving include one cup raw leafy green vegetables or half cup cut raw or cooked vegetables this fruits many fruits need a little preparation to become a healthy part of a meal or a snack like a vegetable they are already packed with fibers potassium and magnesium and are typically low in fat 
exceptions like avocados and coconuts. In fruit, example of one serving include one medium fruit or half cup fresh, frozen or canned fruit. But usually avoid the canned fruits. This is dairy. In this, milk, yogurt, cheese and other dairy products are the major sources of calcium, vitamins and proteins. But the key is to make sure that you choose dairy products which are low in fat or fats free because otherwise they can be a major source of fat. In dairy, example of one serving include 1 cup skim or 1% milk, 1 or 1.5 one cup of yogurt. Next is lean meat, poultry and fish. Meat can be a rich source of protein, vitamins, iron and zinc. But because even the lean varieties contain fat and cholesterol, so don't make them a mainstay of your diet. Cut back typically meat portion by one third or half and pile main on the vegetables instead. Example of one serving include one ounce cooked skinless poultry, seafood or lean meat, one egg and no salt added canned tuna can be taken. Avoid frying, instead you can grill or roast it. So eat heart healthy fish such as salmon, tuna, herring. These types of fishes are high in omega 3 fatty acids which can help you lower your total cholesterol. Next is nuts, seeds and legumes. Almonds, sunflower seeds, kidney beans, peas, lentils and other foods in this family are a good source of magnesium, potassium and protein. They also have full of fiber and phytochemicals which are plant compounds that may protect against some cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Their serving sizes are very small and are intended to be consumed weekly because these foods are high in calories. Example of one serving include 1 3 cup of nuts, 2 teaspoon seeds or half cup cooked beans or peas. Next is fats and oils. So here fat will help your body absorb the essential vitamins and help your body's immune system too. But too much fat will increase your risk of heart diseases, diabetes and obesity. The example of one serving include 1 teaspoon of soft margarine, 1 tablespoon low fat mayonnaise, 2 tablespoon light salad dressing. Avoid trans fat which is commonly found in processed foods such as crackers, baked goods and fried items. Next is sweets. Example of one serving include 1 tablespoon sugar, jelly or jam, half cup of sorbet or 1 cup lemonade. Choose sweets which are fat free or the one which have low fat. Fiber. This will help you feel full and promote good digestion. Next is minerals. The first one is potassium. Potassium will counter the salt's ability to rise the blood pressure, decrease the bone loss and also reduce the risk of the kidney stones. Banana is a rich source in potassium. Next is calcium. Calcium is not only builds and maintains bones but also make the blood vessels and muscles function properly. Apart from dash diet, I also recommend you to include garlic and onion in your diet because garlic reduces blood pressure, have very few calories, it lowers the cholesterol, helps detoxify heavy metals in the body, whereas onion, in 2019, a review was found that quercetin, which is a compound in the onion skin, have the links to lower the blood pressure, helps control blood sugar, boost digestive health, lower the production of LDL, which is a bad cholesterol. It also have vitamin C, which helps build immunity, prevents cancer, and it is antibacterial. Apart from this, a little exercise is necessary. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.